Okay, hello people, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Okay, good, good. And you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi there. I'm fine, teacher. And you? Okay, great. Ready to start. Great. Another class. <laughs> okay, yes. I'm a star. Okay, now we have... Um... Okay, Eduardo is here. We have Antonio and we also have Jonathan. Oh, and Liz also is here today. Okay. How are you, Liz? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? All right. Ready? Okay. Yes, okay. ready. Okay, perfect. All right, and then here we have. Okay. Hello, George. Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Feeling, feeling very good today. Okay, good. Nice. Nice conditions. Nice condition because my day is very, it was beautiful because a lot of something to do in my house and I eat in two different typical food. And I think I have some coffee too. You didn't, you didn't go to the office? Uh, not yet. I stay at home. Okay, you're doing some, uh, some work from home? Yep. Yes. The famous home office now. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Great. Okay. So we're going to start. Let me see. Yeah, we have this. Here's the platform. Okay, this is our screen. Okay, good. Right, okay, so let's get started. This is the, the second lesson. Lesson objective that we have now is always a little bit about verbs, but now it's a different kind of verb, right? And not in another and with all the purposes and uses. Okay, um Liz, can you do me a favor and read uh, the objective? Okay. Okay. Uh, in this class you will practice using infinitives and gerunds for uses and purpose. And purposes. 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 Okay, good. Okay, so then this is what we're going to do now. We're going to use some infinitive forms of verbs like to go, to write, to eat, to stay, okay, to play, and uh, gerunds like playing, writing, using, okay? So these two forms to express uh, the purpose that we have when we do something, right? Okay, so then uh, let's see. Must listen to. This is a brief explanation. So I think I'm going to play it twice. Pay attention and see some details how they use the uh, the verbs in the two different ways, but with the same meaning. Okay, they are using the same meaning. Okay. Welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. <clears throat> infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. 
computers are often used to pay bills. Gerald's. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Hi, welcome. Okay. Did you see the difference? For example, just uh, when you say for, you use the ing form, right? And yes. when we use to, we use the base form, right? So we don't use the ing. But the meaning, the, the idea that we are expressing is the same, okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't change. Yes, Jorge? Yes. Okay. No problem? No problem. Okay, good. Now listen again, and I'm going to pause, and then we can see the examples. Um, join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Okay, I use, okay? This is, for example, that's what it says, infinitive and gerunds for uses and purposes. And purpose. Okay, so say I use my computer, okay. And what is the purpose uh, that we have when we use a computer? Send emails. To send emails. What else? Teacher, okay. sorry. To check emails. To to work in a computer. To play. To write. To write a, a, a letter. To write a letter. To communicate with people. To communicate with people. To watch a video. To watch a video. To. <laughs> to get your classes online classes online <laughs> yes <laughs> to, study. <laughs> to study okay and then we say computers are often used to study online pay bills. to uh, to pay bills uh, to check your bank account okay and that is that so i use my computer for sending emails right then i use my computer for Studying. I use my computer for what else? Listening. Working. For listening. Working. Uh -huh, for working. For working. listening to music. For playing. For uh huh. Uh, for playing uh, with my friends online. Okay. Uh, I use my computer for what? For studying. Uh, for, for paying bills. Uh huh. For studying. Uh, say for. Preparing different food. Uh, for checking, for checking um, recipes to prepare food. Okay. For learn, learn things. For, <laughs> for learning. 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 For learning. Learning. For learning many things on YouTube. Okay. For learning about new things on YouTube. For uh, watching, uh, for watching, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, tutorials okay so you see then there are many verbs that you can use a uh, uh, for example yeah. in this case about computer right and you can also use uh, I use my car 
for traveling. I use my car for working, okay, and different purposes. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. Okay, so the, the express, we express the use and the purpose, right? The reason why we are using something. Uh, the meaning of use and purpose doesn't change. So the meaning is the same. And then we have uh, the structure changes, right? The structure changes is because we use two and we use four. Now look. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the per Okay. I use my cell phone to call. Okay, to. Pay attention to this, that we are using the infinitive form. Purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Okay, now we use here for calling. Not to call or not for call. Okay, for calling. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending email. Okay, this is incorrect. No. Okay, this is no good to sending or for send. Okay, after for, always, okay. always we use verb in ing. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you for telling me the truth. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for uh, updating me with the information. Okay, so then these are, for example, different forms to use the, the, the verb, right? To send for sending. So these two forms here are incorrect. nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay. Okay. Questions? It's clear. It's clear. Like yes. the, like the Aselwate water <laughs> uh, nowadays in, in, win in winter. Huh? <laughs> kind of. No, it's clear. Yes. If you use a uh, ing form when they use the four and the, uh, the two, it will uh, uh, infinity form. Exactly right. So here are, for example, other uh -huh, other uh, for example uses right. This is a very old, very old machine. The, that's from probably from the eighties. You know, it was the first. Uh, uh, ag electronic agendas, right, or organizers, they say, for example, uh, we use a data later, it was like, a, I don't know, like a, probably a electronic, electronic agenda. Okay, we use the, the data later to look up words, it was like a dictionary, it was like a dictionary, okay, for looking up words, to store names and phone numbers, Okay, or for storing, right? For using for storing, storing names, uh, storing and names numbers. For adding and uh, subtract. Uh, to add and, and subtract. Mm -hmm. So like a calculator, right? It was for adding and subtracting. So you can use uh, to write down ideas or for, for writing, for writing down, down, down ideas. ideas. Okay. For writing um, down. For for to cool. look cool, right? The most those, important. <laughs> yes, in those days, in those days, you know, if you had an electronic agenda in the eighties, wow, you know, mm -hmm. were you know really, really cool, right? 
but now you know it has to do with the kind of cell phone that the person has right so if you have a nice right. cell phone then that's a sim like a symbol for some people right mm -hmm. okay so then remember these are purposes use and purpose to look for uh, for uh, let's say to look up uh, for looking up to store for storing to add and subtracting for adding and subtracting to write down and for writing down to look cool and for looking cool okay this was another one but this is more for infinitives i want to show you some other examples here this one okay for example you can see here a laptop i use the laptop to send emails right Okay, uh, I use the laptop for sending emails. That was another purpose, okay, when we use this kind. Okay, exception, the phrase be used to, okay, for express, but these are exceptions, right? In this, that you can use. But you see the examples now, right? Okay, questions? Okay. Yes. Uh, in Spanish, uh, how do you read an uh, example? Which one? Uh, the, the, the laptop. You use the laptop? I use the laptop to send email. Yeah. yeah. Para in enviar. Spanish, uh, two, two examples. Para enviar. Yeah. For sending email or to send emails it will be the same that's what it says you know it has the same meaning the meaning that is the no no in, in meaning no no difference no difference no difference the same oh. it's just okay. a different way to say it okay for example when you say um a ocupo a laptop para enviar para enviar correos o yo envío correos por medio de la laptop o en mi laptop Okay, this different mm. ways we say it, right? So then in English, okay. you also say, I use the laptop too, to send emails send. or yeah. for sending emails, right? That's and nice. just a different way to say it, but the meaning remains or keeps the same, right? Okay. Now, for example, uh, we can say, I use my, I use the, uh, I, I use the earphone, yeah. okay, to, listen better and i use them for you to listen to me better too right so i use them for listening better okay then this is one one way to that we can talk about the uh, the earphone right uh, what is another thing that we can talk about using for example i I use the. I use my car. Okay, I use my to, car to travel faster. Okay, I use my car for traveling faster. Okay. I use my car to travel comfortable. Okay, I use my car for traveling more, com more comfortable. Okay. You got it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, All right, another example, people. Who has another idea? Remember, use and purpose, use and purpose. Something that we use for or with a specific purpose. Example, I, I use my glasses to read better. I use my glasses to read better. Uh huh. I, 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 I use I use my glasses for for seeing better for reading for reading better right this is the reading better what is the purpose of your glasses just read better or for reading better right good mm -hmm. what else I use my car for uh, going 
to my work. For going to work. Mm -hmm. Or use my car to go to work. To go to work. Okay. I but use my I use the ice for getting my drink cold. Yeah. I use ice, uh huh? For getting my drink cold. To uh -huh, to get my drinks cold or for mm -hmm. getting my drinks cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The the people to look for a new emotion or the people looking for a new emotion yeah but that would be more like simple present and present progressive right people look for new emotions or people are looking for new emotions but now you have to use something that we use for example uh, for example people uh, I don't know People probably, for probably, example, teacher, uh -huh. I, I use my bed for rest. I use my bed for rest. For rest. 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 For rest. For rest. Rest. For rest. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I use my bed for for rest. Uh, Resting. For, for resting. 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 Uh, okay, resting. Uh, for, okay. To rest. Uh -huh, rest. To rest. To rest. Uh, yes, Ronnie. Yes, Ronnie. And sleeping too. Only for <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> only for resting too. and sleeping, right? Yes. yes. Okay, Teacher. good. Teacher. Only, only two. Okay. Good. Teacher, question. So uh, for these examples, uh, we always need to use uh, the use. I mean, it, it couldn't be another verb. Yes, but... Uh, uh, the most common is use. No, in this case, remember what, that we are practicing use and purpose. Oh, there are okay. many other things, but... Uh, but with uh, the same rule. I mean, this is just a way to start or, or something like... No, the thing is that, for example, there are in verbs, there are many, for example, this topic uh, doesn't about apply. verb is very, it's very extensive. Oh, and for okay. example, you can, uh, there is one rule in English that always, that when you use a, a preposition, any preposition, mm -hmm. then uh, the, the verb has to be in ing form, right? For example, mm -hmm. if, if you say, uh, I, let me see, let me. For, uh, for I, example, I left, teacher. I, I left home, I left home without uh, without eating. Mm -hmm. I left mm -hmm. home without taking a shower because the preposition is without. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't go, don't go before saying goodbye. Okay, don't, uh, let me see, don't, don't come after uh, paying, uh, let's say after spending all your money. So when you have prepositions, mm -hmm. you use always sign the form. But that's an that's let's say another like another class, another topic. Another topic. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Yes, All right. Eric. Eric. No, um, I just want to say uh, an example. Playing tennis is fun, but um, you are talking about this is another topic. So. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm happy because you know there are, for example. Uh, verbs that are followed by ing okay and there are other verbs that are only followed by infinitive so for example say, i suggest beginning early okay after suggest we use to so begin there, are, early. Uh, there are some uh, verb combinations so it's a very mm -hmm. extensive extens topic no this one let's okay. say that is something more uh, let's say only about to talk about something that we use something okay. that we use and the purpose that we use it uh -huh. and we can say that it's probably like you know like the easiest way to begin mm -hmm. i mean first you have the phrasal verbs now you have this uh purpose uh using purpose and after that uh, you, then you would see some other kinds of verbs right but it's very extensive it's very extensive I, ha I have this example i i use my uniform to go to work or 
I use my uniform for going to work. For going to work, yes, because okay. going to, you use it only to go to work, right? Okay. Yes, okay. What else? I use Mac for I use well, my pencil for, for loans. Okay, let's see Ricardo and then Jorge Lemos. Uh -huh, Ricardo? Okay, I, I use my pencil for drawing. For drawing, okay, good. Uh -huh, Jorge Lemos? I use mask for protection. Uh -huh, okay, <laughs> look. Uh, excellent. Jorge, excellent. Jorge used a variation, but it's correct. You say, I use a surgical mask for protection. After four, you can use a noun for, for protection. But you can also say, I use a surgical mask for protecting myself. Okay? Um, okay. okay? You can use a noun for say, protection. You say pre prevention. Uh -huh, for preventing. For preventing. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, for preventing. Uh, yes, for preventing. Uh, uh, let's say uh, an infection. What else? Teacher. Teacher. Yes, Jorge Lemus. Jorge? No. I have a question, teacher. Okay, Diego. And I would like to know if we have any exception using, for, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, if I can use uh, the bear um, infinitive mode uh, using, using for or uh, using for and um, that the bear at the end can can be uh, infinitive. No, no, no. Uh, that's what it says. For going. We don't for have any. Take... We have an exception. No, in that case, no. That is no exception. Okay, okay we say two is a base form. Okay, and we have four ing form. Yes, always. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Always, I uh, we are used it. Use it too. We need to use ing, right? Uh, used to. For example, one is not used uh, to drinking. Uh, no, but that's different. That's different. That's something that you. Ah, okay. This is not used. Acostumbras. Aha, uh -huh, and this is not used to usar, right? Okay. That's, okay. Okay. Use the acostumbrara. Right, so it's different. Okay, it's okay, the same. Okay. It's the same word used to. For example, like in the past tense, I used to solía. I am used to acostumbro a, and I am getting okay. used to. I am getting used to. Me estoy acostumbrando estoy. A. So, uh -huh, so that's that's okay. different. That's a different. Like it's, uh, this is another topic too. Okay, okay sorry. Uh, no, no, it's okay. No, it's okay that it, it's good that you bring those ideas because you know probably somebody has a doubt. And then right now I can tell you that it's something different, right? It's good. Those okay, questions okay. are those questions Thanks. are good. Thank you. For example, remember this is only when we use something and what is the purpose that we have for using that object, right? For example, uh, we can say I use I use English to communicate my ideas, okay, to my students. I use English for communicating in my class. Okay, so the the use of the language. Okay. What else? I use my calendar to organize my daily activities. Perfect. Okay. Or I use my calendar for organizing my daily activities. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I use my I use my my cell phone for working. Okay, or I use my cell phone to work. Okay, you uh, remember the picture I show you about the you data? Can, uh -huh. You can say both or just just one. Both. To work or for working, right? For working, yes. Okay. 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 Thanks. What other other uses that we that we have for our cell phone? I use my cell phone for taking uh, pictures. Uh, I have an example, teacher. Mm -hmm. I used to use my cell phone <coughs> for, for getting in touch with my family. I you, say it again. 
I used to use my cell phone for getting in touch with my, my family. The sentence is correct, okay? But, okay? but the meaning, the idea that you are transmitting is that in this moment, you don't use your cell phone to communicate with your family. Because you're talking about past. Uh-huh. Is that what you want you're to say, Diego? talking about acostumbrados. Uh-huh. Unless you said, I usually use. Uh-huh. No, but if you say, for example, I used to use. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I used to you use my cell phone. It means public. that you don't do it anymore. Exactly, right? So, but the mm -hmm. sentence, the sentence is perfect. It's perfect. Grammatically, yeah. it's correct. I used to use my cell phone to communicate with my family. Yes, I used to use. Because the first one, used to, is the past. And the second use, I used to use, is the, the one that we are using in this moment. Yes. Okay. For example, um, I used to, let me see, I used to use a chalk. Do you remember, do you know what chalk is? No. Chalk. No. I don't remember. Huh? Who remembers chalk. the chalk? Okay, who remembers the blackboard in the school? The okay. Blackboard. Yeah. Blackboard. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. 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 And what did the teacher use to write on chalk. the blackboard? Oh, uh -huh. chalk. Chalk. Is that chalk. a chop? Chalk. 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 With, chalk. with C. With C. C H A L K. Chalk. Chalk. Then I used to I used to use chalk for writing on the board. To write on the board. I used to use chalk to write on the board, but no more. The chalk disappeared, uh. disappeared from my life. Okay. <laughs> Thank God, because no, uh, I used to get, I used to get uh, sick very often because of the dust. Okay, because of the. Oh, dust. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're right. And then, but now, for example, a uh, three months ago. I used to use markers to write on the board. <laughs> three, three months ago. <laughs> three months ago. <laughs> now I don't use markers to write on the board because I don't have a board. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is online, right? Yeah. Okay. Probably, probably in the future, I'm going to use. So I mean, I'm going to use uh, mar markers. <laughs> Electronic. Electronic or markers again, right? Markers to, to write on the board. Okay, you see, for example, used to, uh, you can use it, but for things that you don't use anymore. Okay, what else? More ideas, more ideas. We, we, we use the car for going to shopping. For going shopping. Or we use, or we use the car to go shopping. Okay, to go shopping, okay. For going I, shopping. I use? I use my car for for earning money because I work in a Uber. Uber. Yes, because I have an Uber. Okay, I use my car for making money. I use my car for making money, for making money okay. or to make money. No problem. Okay, good. I think they. I use my. Uh huh. I use my motorcycle to go to work. Okay, yes, that's correct. Okay, I use right. my motorcycle. Another one is I use the, my motorcycle for going to work. For going to work, okay? Right. For going to work. Okay, got it? Okay. Perfect. I got it. Okay, good. Now let's see. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about. Okay, now we have the next one. I think the next one is the knowledge check. Yes, okay. Remember this one, you can try it. And then uh, when, I think that probably on Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to check the two knowledge checks together, okay? So I'll give you some time for you to do the exercise and after we can check it together. Okay, or tom uh, tomorrow we can check it, I guess, yes. Tomorrow we will. Okay, for you to have some time to assimilate. 
Then the next one is this one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Aide, can you please read the first uh, objective here? Okay, teacher. Participant will not and um, practice stress in work with more than two syllables. Okay, this is an exercise for pronunciation, right? It says participant will notice and practice stress in words with more than two syllables. Pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Okay, take a look at them and after I'm going to show you the, for example, the first one is? Languages. 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 The next one? Understand. Understand. Okay, this one? Robotics. robotics. Okay, is, is robotics, robotics, or robotics? Robotics. Robotics. And the second one? Yeah. Okay, the next one? Telephone. 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 Yeah. Okay. The next one? Transmission. 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 Look at this. This is a mistake in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Transmission. Okay. So trans. Transmission. 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 Okay, this one? VCR. VCR. What is that? Ah, you don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is the meaning of VCR? We are, we are asking. Oh, yes. I got it, I got it, I got it. Recorder. Uh, uh, Kelvin, you, you don't know I what I used to VCR? have it. No, I used oh, to have yeah. it, but uh, I, 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 I recall that it was another name. VHS. Uh, VHS. All oh. right. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. You are me. <laughs> <laughs> Blockbuster. Yes. Yeah. So this was, this, uh, it was the same thing. It was video cassette recorder. And the other one, video, oh. home, video yeah. home system. Um, system. Yeah. Okay. The v okay. VHS, v video home system. Is so the VHS is, an, is totally different than this one. No, it was the same thing. Oh, it's the same. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. The only people that... Video after, cassette recorder. After that, the people were more sophisticated and they say video mm -hmm. home system, right? Okay. It was the same. Oh, video home system. The, okay. the one that was different was the Betamax. Before this one, there was a Betamax. The Betamax Before that one? Uh-huh. The cassette was a smaller. And the oh. PCR, it was larger. <laughs> But the quality, uh -huh. the quality of the tape was better. Was better, okay. okay. And after that? Times ago. <laughs> come, on, come on, Ricardo, yesterday. <laughs> I, have, I have one here in my house. I, I still have one. Really? Yes, yes. yes. and it worked. It yes. worked. It's a Sony. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Commercial, commercial. It's a commercial, yes. <laughs> please place a commercial here. <laughs> okay now look very good okay there you go so you have languages 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 uh -huh. telephone okay Language. telephone transmission robotics 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 Understand. 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 Yes. D C R. B C R. D C R. D C R. I like the other one was B C S. B H S. B H S. Yeah. D C R. 
Can you repeat with me? Languages, Language. telephone, transmission, robotics, understanding, VCR. VCR. Robotics is like uh, D, right? D zone. Robot robotics. The second, the T is like a little, little R. Robotics. 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 Uh -huh. Robotics. Uh, robotics. Okay, good. So this was about some uh, sounds for a strength. That was an easy, an easy one. Okay, good. And now, who else do we have here? Eduardo, can you please read this one, please? Okay. In this session, you will practice a conversation about using a cell phone, see imperatives and infinities for giving suggestions in context. Okay, so here, for example, now we're going to see a topic using imperatives. Remember the imperatives? Mm -hmm. who, remember the, uh, rem who remember the imperatives? Like, for example, mm -hmm. stand up, sit down, sit down, uh, run, walk, turn on, up, turn on, uh -huh, turn on, turn on, uh, pick up, pick up, okay, okay, cough. Raise your hand. Uh -huh. raise, raise your hand. Okay. Uh, touch your nose. Okay. Uh, nod your head. Okay. So these are you know, imperatives, right? Now let's see. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, we're gonna listen again. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the... F okay. You want to listen again, or are you ready to answer a question? The last one. Okay. Listen just to the questions for you to, to, to see what you have to pay attention to. First thing to do, what should the woman press? If you are not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Hi 
Again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? Okay. Who owns the phone? The machine recording. No, who owns? Who owns the phone? I wasn't uh, able to see friend. the name, but I think it's Richard, the guy. The guy. Richard. Okay, the man. Okay, the guy. Yeah, the man. The man. Uh -huh. Okay, the guy, Richard. Uh -huh. uh, next question. Who are they calling? Who are they calling? They calling the boss. Her boss. Her boss. Her boss. The, the boss. Uh -huh. The girl's. The girl's boss. The girl's. The latest boss. Her boss. Uh -huh. Oh, the ladies. Uh -huh. The ladies. Uh -huh. The What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? First thing to oh, do. Bottom. What should the woman press? Sorry, sorry. What's the first thing to do? What is the first thing to do? Turn it on. Make sure, sure to turn it on. on. To turn it on the, the telephone. Correct. Turn the telephone. What should the woman press? What should the woman press? The call button. The, 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 call, call, button. the, call, the call button. The call button. If you are not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay. Teacher, sorry, uh -huh. I just want, I, I just wanted to uh, hear the last part when you, when he says, um, make sure to end the call or something like, or else he says, mm -hmm. or else you will leave. What a conversation or something mm -hmm. like that. Yes. He he heard the he heard the conversation. Uh -huh. if oh, she does, if she does, does, did you not end the, the, the call? Mm, if you don't okay. end the call, then the conversation will be recorded. <laughs> okay. Recording the message of the mm -hmm. bus. Or, or else in that case is something like Sino. Ah okay. That's right. new for me. Okay. Or mm -hmm. else. Or else. Or else. Okay. okay, now you're gonna listen again and pay attention to those imperative verbs, right? Remember that the imperative verbs can be sometimes orders, can be like commands, uh, it can be instructions, okay? In this case, the, the guy is given instructions to the lady, okay? Yeah. So pay attention to those verbs that you hear and how he is using them, okay? Okay. Again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. You still okay. don't have a cell phone. Uh -huh. And the first thing that she says, can I borrow? Okay, this is a request, right? Informal because they are friends. Can I borrow? Okay, can I can borrow? Teacher, can I, uh -huh. but borrow applies just for phone or objects. Anything. Okay, okay. Okay, can I borrow. Applies for money and whatever you want. Okay, good. Then uh, next one. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. Okay, first of all. Be, be sure. sure okay so that's one of, uh -huh, that's one of the imperative instructions, uh, instruction that he's saying be sure and don't forget to dial the area code don't forget forget okay that's another one okay? don't forget to dial mm -hmm. the area code
Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. That's because... Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. Okay, that's another one, right? Try. <laughs> Try not to get excited. Try not to get. Try to not to no. Try not to get. It's not trying to not. Try not to get. It's like a try de no estar. Trata de no estar. Try not to get excited. Not to get. Not to be nervous. Not to be nervous. Relax the cake. You're right. It's recording. Make sure to hit the end button. This is also mm, another one similar to make, make sure. sure. Make, make sure. sure. Or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, or else. That's the signal, right? Mm -hmm. You wanna leave make sure our conversation will sure. be in his voicemail. Okay. Teacher, to hit right. who on the phone? Who are they calling? Okay, uh huh. Yes. Sorry, sorry. But to hit is like a presionar. Press, yes, to hit the, okay. the button. Okay, okay. Pu like pushing. Okay, like okay, pushing. Thanks. Okay, then this is. All right. Okay, so then what are some instructions? Okay, for example, how to. Let me see. A... Okay, who wants to try? Let's see, Evelyn, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. good. Uh, can you give us instructions with uh, three or four actions, right? Not too much, no, with a lot of details. Um, how, to, how to use a computer, a laptop? First, second, third, and four, like three or four instructions. Repeat, please. Okay, how can I use, I don't know how to use a laptop, okay? Can you tell me okay. how to use a laptop? You say first. What is the first thing I have to do? For example, first, open the laptop, right? Yeah, open. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Then? First, open the laptop. Okay. Second. Second, then, uh, then. Uh, oh. Oh. press the button, the button in the power, power on. on. Okay. Oh, power. The press power button. Power. Press, power on. press the on button. Okay. Second. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Power. Third. Mm -hmm. And three or uh, 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 writing the password. Okay, write the password. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And the last one? Um, press enter. <laughs> press, <laughs> press, enter. En well. uh, press enter or select, select a program. Okay. Select, Se select, select, uh, uh -huh, select uh, the internet, the internet Wait. icon. Uh -huh. Or loading the old programs. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. So you see, this yes. is, you know, the four basic uh, steps, right? First, open the laptop. Second, turn on the machine or press the on button. Then okay. uh, wait, wait until all the programs are loaded, okay? Uh -huh. Then introduce your password, okay? Okay. Uh, then uh, select the program you want to use, and then okay. click, want? click on that icon. For example, okay. Word, PowerPoint, or Internet. So, Okay, so you see, this is how you are using the, the imperative verbs to give instructions, right? Okay, who wants to, who wants to practice to give instructions about another object? Something that you teacher, know. Uh, teacher, yes? 
I have I have a question. Oh, well, mm -hmm. it, for example, when you say power on, is the same when you uh, on machine or power on machine? Turn, turn on the machine. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Is it the same? Is the same with power on? Power on? Mm, no, power but on. power is not like a bear. Well, I haven't. I have it used it. I, you can say, for example, uh, turn on the power button, maybe. Oh, but in this case, you just say turn on or push the on button. Okay? Or the, the power button. Okay, something like that. But power not like a verb, like a noun. Because if you say power on, it's like if you were using the the, the word power. Maybe it's a it's a technical. Power. It's probably, a technical. Probably machine. Other, hang other because machines. Because I I, I I saw in the in the in the manual mm -hmm. in the instruction I saw power on. Yes, power. Maybe it's a technical word. Yes, might be, might be. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. What okay. else? Thank you, teacher. All right. Who wants to practice giving instructions? Uh, let me see who has some practice today. Diego, Elisa. Hello, teacher. Okay. Now, okay. Can you tell us, Elisa, how to use, uh, I don't know, a washing machine, a, a stove, a blender? Um, Talk to the work? Uh, no, or uh, what is this? Uh, uh, I forgot the the PlayStation. No, <laughs> no, you I no, know, use the, a car, the, a the, car, the, 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 mi car? The, the microwave, the microwave, very easy. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, microwave, a car, whatever, any machine, any machine. Mm, three or three or, Okay, three or four sentences. Uh, first, I uh, prepare the food to cooking. Okay. Uh, okay. First, next. Listen, listen. First, prepare the food for cooking. For, cook, for cooking. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Second, um, open the the door the microwave. Okay. Uh, first, uh, 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 next, uh, uh, put, push. Put the food. Put the food uh, into, the... into 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 the micro. Uh, micro. Next, uh, type the numbers to to <laughs> to progress. You you forgot to close the door. <laughs> uh, <sorry. laughs> after that, after that, Elisa. <laughs> okay. You forgot that doesn't doesn't close, work. Yes, close the door. <laughs> Close the door and then next dial. Uh, put the dial, the the yeah, second the time, the time. Uh -huh. Oh, the, the time. Oh, the time. Oh, set set the time. Set the time. Set the time. Set the time. Setting the time. Set the time. Set the time for cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and then and finally and, then. Uh, mm -hmm. and finally yes. open the door and. Eating my food. <laughs> okay, and finally, <laughs> but there is another there is another problem, Melissa. You forgot. It, it's to, very easy to cook. To, no, after <laughs> after setting the time, you have to pu push the start. Start the start, start well. button. Ah. Okay, if you open the door, yeah. then it will be the it's same cold. cold. It will be the same cold. cold. The same yeah. row row food. Okay. Roll. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Roll. Uh -huh. Yes, it's gonna be crude. Okay. Roll. Uh, uh, roll. Okay. R A W. R A W. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. That's correct. And as a recommendation, don't forget uh, to let farts in there. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Good. Metal farts. Yeah. Good. Oh yes. Don't forget to. Don't forget that you must not introduce metal, metal objects. Object into yeah. a microwave, right? Did you I experience, Gio? Huh? Or do you or, have experience for, for or that? an egg? Or an egg. For never, what? Never got any, an, an egg into the oven, into the microwave. For metal objects. For metal objects. <laughs> okay, good. All right, people. Then, I, um, I learned a new word today, dial. 
Yes. Dial. Dial. Okay, or set the time to mm, dial and set. Set the time. Okay, I good. I to use microwave. To <laughs> Yes, I know <laughs> to use. <laughs> for tomorrow, please, for tomorrow, everybody, think about how to give instructions to use uh, a device, okay? An electronical, electrical, or I don't know, any kind of object. For example, to play a guitar, what are the steps to play a guitar? What are the, or to play the drums? Or I to, wash the machine, teacher. Excuse me, a washing machine, how to use a washing yes. machine. Okay, use, I mean, just <laughs> prepare one object, okay? So it's gonna be like four or five instructions, but try to think about each step in a chronological way, okay? Okay. Okay. okay, that's a homework for okay. tomorrow, and then we practice. And tomorrow we're gonna do also the the technology. Okay. Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay. So have a good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good rest, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Have a safe trip back home. Good night. 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 Good night.